All right, YouTube, Merry Christmas and War Eagle, Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the Cover One Podcast. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle. Auburn introducing Brian Harson as head coach yesterday via press conference, his first one, a very impressive one, actually. As a matter of fact, if you look across social media, I mean, the buzz was amazing. I mean, you talk about, I, I, I just don't think, I, and I think it was probably because a lot of it is, I'm not taking away from who Brian Harson is as a person or as a football coach professionally, but when you look at what Auburn has been through uh, for the last few years, the kind of uh, estranged relationship with Gus Malzahn, if anything, that interview yesterday was just, I mean, the, the press conference was just a breath of fresh air for the Auburn fan base to, to know or feel, because a lot of this stuff is emotional. When you talk about being a fan, a lot of this stuff is emotional. And for the fans to feel in one accord, I thought that was huge for the Auburn fan base yesterday. It was the first time in a long time that you didn't have to worry about trying to justify some of the perceived Gus Malzahn's behaviors via the sunshine pumping and all that other stuff. It was actually a day where you could be an Auburn fan and get away with it, (laughs) you know, and really genuinely feel good, especially going into Christmas and at the heels of a really rocky season where things just obviously, you know, due to COVID and things like that, didn't go as planned on any level. But just for the Auburn fan base to hear sensibility, to hear someone that doesn't have a sketchy background, you know, not a drinker, not, you know, just somebody that's going to come and run a solid program. Now, for many of the Auburn fans, from what I could see on social media, he had he had a lot of you guys at War Damn Eagle. I, I, you know, him saying that the way he said it, the intensity in which he said it was just genu- very genuine in nature. And I think that can go a long way as to how this program can go up a notch. Because, the, you know, there haven't, haven't been any losing seasons since 2012. But there haven't been, like, really abundantly winning seasons either. Because they're different levels of winning. And 10-2 and, ten and two consistent winning is a lot different than 8-5 and five consistent winning. And this is something that I think Brian Harson can give Auburn the opportunity to do. Is to focus on those games that... Auburn has not been winning. Yeah, you've beaten Alabama, but there's some games in there that have been left on the table, especially with LSU and Georgia. 0-12 against LSU, Georgia, and Alabama on the road, not beating them consistently even at home. And I think with Harson's non-bias as far as, you know, it's good to have an SEC background, But it's also good at times, especially given Auburn's case, to bring someone uh, outside who has had a consistent track record, who has had a situation where, okay, now if you look at this on paper, the typical just at first glance guy would say, okay, Brian Harson is not really a good recruiter. But when you look at the totality of circumstance, Boise State is not exactly the easiest place to recruit, to lure guys out to. I mean, they've had some successes, but even in that success, you're talking about a situation where, yes, they they may be number one in the Mountain West. But as far as like total standards, they usually recruit around anywhere between the 50 and 70 percent range. So what does that mean to the casual fan what the casual fan would want to know is the fact that yeah 
you might not have the statistically high recruiting classes, but you're number one in your conference. And that also shows the ability to develop the talent that you do have. And that's going to be the common theme, especially when Harson is able to sit in living rooms and couch because that's something that has not been if you look at Auburn from a perceptual standpoint that's not something that can that Auburn can genuinely say has been happening at a high level is the developmental piece so Auburn fan base is definitely excited about this definitely ex- excited about change definitely excited about the perceived transparency that Brian Harson has because a lot of times with Gus Malzahn you get a lot of smoke and mirrors you get a lot of well we'll get back at that later on and you know uh, sooner rather than later and all that other gibberish and really and truly when it's all said and done with Gus Malzahn I just think the perception was He just lacked transparency at times. It just seemed like he was being in a weird kind of way, just dishonest with the fan base. And I think that's where the disconnect was and the indifference, the perceived indifference, especially after losing high consequence games like LSU and Georgia, Georgia, the response of we'll get them next time. You know, and, and, and fans that pour their hearts into this program, hearing a guy stand in front of a press conference after he's blown a 21-3 to lead and say, we'll get him next time, I think that at times was a slap in the Auburn fan base's uh, face. Auburn faces Northwestern in the Citrus Bowl. I want to say, well, at least, it's at least the third year in a row that Auburn will compete against a Big Ten team in the state of Florida. Actually, no. The Purdue game was played in uh, in Tennessee. They played in the Music City Bowl and playing against Minnesota last year. So they won and won in the most recent bowl games. But it's going to be really interesting to see what the approach is going to be. Now, Harson did tell his coaching staff to take Friday off and get back to work with the bowl plans i think he wants to take a really educated look at the the staff that he does have um who he would like to retain who he would like to bring in um a lot of times coaches do um, do that there's no evidence that auburn has made stipulations that hey you got to keep this guy you got to keep that guy it seemed to be a, a pretty decent pretty classy recruit um coaching search at least up to this point it was a little messy um about six or seven days ago um but anyway i hope you guys enjoy your christmas uh, again canard stewart here for the podcast cover one podcast doing this thing solo and um it's always great to be an auburn tiger merry christmas again war eagle war eagle